Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back, back to Rooster's, Rooster's Recipe. Today we are going to be sharing with you a yummy chicken spaghetti recipe. And the best part about this recipe is all of the ingredients you probably already have in your pantry. All right, so I know this is a recipe video, but I have to say it, don't mind this hair. This is 4th of July hair. It is what it is. So let's get to Mr. Rooster over here. Yeah. Letting you know what you're going to need to make this yummy recipe. So first you'll need either two to three chicken breasts, diced. Next you'll need cream of chicken soup. One can will be fine. And then you'll need one pound of spaghetti noodles, one eight ounce block of cream cheese, three tablespoons of minced garlic, one cup of chicken broth. Chicken broth. And then two cups of shredded cheese. Shredded mm. cheddar cheese. Cheese. Our favorite. Cheese. Cheese. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. All right, so you want to go ahead and cut up your chicken. You can use two to three chicken breasts. We use three small chicken breasts. Go ahead and have it thawed out already. So right before you start cooking your chicken, you're going to heat your oven to 350. All right, so we have the chicken cooking on top of the stove and we're waiting on our water to start boiling. So once your chicken gets done, you can set it off to the side, but you're going to have to drain all that juice that's off of it. All right, so once your water is boiling, you're gonna go ahead and pour in your one pound of spaghetti noodles. We wanna go ahead and have these cooked before we put the chicken spaghetti in the oven. So you wanna cook it about a minute less than what the package says. So basically al dente. Did we say that right? Probably not. No. Do we care? No. Also probably not. All right, so you wanna go ahead and turn your stove to medium heat, and then we are going to make our sauce combination. So you're gonna first start with one can of cream of chicken, and we're gonna do this all while the noodles are boiling. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in this one cup of chicken broth. This is gonna be our sauce mixture. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and add our eight ounces of cream cheese to our sauce mixture. Dump it in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. That just doesn't sound right. Dump it in there. Yeah. So now you're going to add your two cups of shredded cheese. Yum, this is gonna melt and be so delicious. And last but not least, you're gonna need three tablespoons of minced garlic. So you're gonna go ahead and stir this sauce mixture together. It is on medium heat, but this cream cheese and all of the other cheese will melt together and make a yummy, delicious sauce. This is like one of the easiest recipes I've ever made. I'm gonna chop up this cream cheese so it'll start melting faster. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, so they call this like an American Italian cuisine, but it's super family friendly. I feel like anybody in your house would love it, including your kids, which is always a big win. Okay, so once your cheese sauce is almost done, it's gonna look about like this, super yummy. There's still some clumps in there, so it needs to be cooked a bit more. Just kind of turn it up and down as you go to get it melted perfectly and get those chunks out of there. So now you're going to take your spray and coat your pan. Coat your nine by 13 inch pan for your spaghetti mixture. Don't want to be sticking. All right, so Alex is going ahead and draining our noodles. And what we're gonna do is we are going to put our chicken in the pot with the noodles and our sauce and go ahead and toss it all up to combine equally together. So go ahead and pour in your chicken. And now pour your sauce mixture over your chicken and noodles. And then you're gonna stir to combine all of this. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. The rooster mess of the video. Yeah. Gosh, that looks so delicious. I don't need it now. I know. All 
All right, so once you've mixed up all of your chicken, your noodles, and your cheese mixture, go ahead and add the entire combination to your nine by 13 inch pan. Mm. A couple of stragglers. Can't be leaving no chicken in the pan. Mm -mm. So now you're going to make it even. Like I said, super family friendly meal. Everyone will love this. So there's only one other step to this recipe period before we do our taste test. You want to tell them what you have to do? Go put it in the oven. For how long? You're going to cook it in the oven for 20 minutes. So we're going to cook this for 20 minutes in the oven on 350 degrees. All right, so when it comes out of the oven, it'll be nice and bubbly and look just like this. Perfect. So now it's time for the taste test. Taste test. Yes. All right, so we are going to try this together and give you our opinion. All right, so now we are going to give you guys a little taste test, make some chicken in there. Alex got himself a napkin, but not me. Yeah, you don't ever use them. So. The napkin beast. No count the three guys, y'all know the drill. What do you think? I do delicious, man. You gonna take a bite or you gonna sit there and hold it in there all day, wait on the mat to get it? It's hot, I'm gonna blow on it. it. You let enough hot air out of that mouth though. <laughs> I'm about to show you some hot air. It's good. Delicious. It's so delicious. Especially whenever you put it in the oven for 20 minutes and get a little crispiness on top. I don't know what, I think the cream cheese is like the main ingredient to what makes it. This is water, not white lightning. <clears throat> I love this. Your, I do too. Your mom's gonna love it. Oh yeah, this. she's definitely gonna love it. So every week when we cook the rooster's recipe, we always give his mom like a ton of what we cook, half or at least a fourth of it because we're only a family of four. And a lot of times we cook more than what we can eat or what he can take for leftovers for work. So anyway, this highly, is, highly recommend. Yes, highly recommend this one for sure. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching Rooster's Recipe and letting us share another favorite recipe. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more recipes by Mr. and Mrs. Rooster, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We have a new video every single week with an easy family friendly recipe every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So tune in, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and we will see you guys in our next one bye. bye so let's get to mr rooster over here yeah. letting you had a wife and better keep her don't put her in no pumpkin shell you don't know your nursery rhymes uh, no. another quick and easy recipe just for you put it in the oven for how long i don't remember <laughs> You're gonna cook it in the oven for 20 minutes. He's dead serious. That wasn't a joke. I didn't know. <laughs>